Meghan Markle treated completely differently to Kate Middleton, really unsettling. Meghan Markle is being treated differently to the coverage the Duchess of Cambridge receives in the media, an expert has claimed. Meghan Markle is being treated with a kind of hate in the media which is different in contrast to the treatment of the Duchess of Cambridge, according to Natalie Morris a lifestyle writer. Last week five of Meghan's friends spoke to a U.S. magazine to reveal the truth about the Duchess of Sussex amid scrutiny in the media. Speaking on BBC's Radio 5 Live, Morris outlined one crucial example of when Meghan has been treated in a different light to the Duchess of Cambridge. She said, It is disproportionate the kind of hate and vitriol we are seeing in the media and social media about her. It is really unsettling to kind of see that because it makes me question what the underlying motivations are behind this disproportionate anger that people feel. What I think really shows it up is the contrast between the way that Kate is treated and how Meghan is treated. The one example I will bring up is the fact that a number of people brought it up on social media today about the one-arm dress that Kate was wearing I think at the BAFTAs. She looked stunning and all of the media coverage was incredibly positive and then you rewind a couple of months to when Meghan wore a black one-arm dress and all of the coverage there was saying she was breaking royal protocol for this outrageous one-arm dress that was completely inappropriate. She added, so when you hold the two of them next to each other you have to question, why is there that difference there? Last week five of Meghan's friends decided to defend the Duchess of Sussex in an anonymous interview with US magazine People. One of Meghan's inner circle said, Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant. Although, royal experts have warned the Duchess of Sussex with her friends speaking out in the media to defend her. Camilla Tomini told Today, although it is not unprecedented for royals to brief the press via friends, Diana and Charles did it all the time when their marriage was breaking down. It's not necessarily recommended. It just opens the floodgates. The more you give bad publicity and the oxygen of publicity it just gets worse and worse. Aaron Hill, People magazine editor, explained why Meghan's friends spoke out in the press. She said, as Meghan's closest friends they are in contact with her daily. They are the ones who see best the effect that the mistruths and the rumors are having on her. They felt now was the best time to speak out. It comes following the release of a handwritten note Meghan sent to her father last August. The note was sent just three months after Mr. Markle had pulled out of his daughter's wedding due to health concerns, which following a row over staging paparazzi photographs. Part of the letter reads, your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces, not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain, but by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this. Something I will never understand. You've told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding, that didn't happen because you never called. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told Inside Edition, It's heartbreaking, isn't it? This is, at the end of the day. A daughter pleading with her father to keep this between the two of them to stop playing it out in the media. M's arbiter added, To me, this is the ultimate betrayal and what a tragedy. He does have grandchildren already but this is his first grandchild with Meghan and I think the chances of him meeting this grandchild are slim to none.